guys, so today I'm going to be filming my July favorites and I'm really excited that July is over. It's been an awesome month. I've enjoyed it being here, but I'm on my way home. I'm probably home now while I'm posting this. I'm filming it ahead of time because of the drive and whatnot, but I'm probably home. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into my July favorites. I don't have very many products makeup wise because I feel like I haven't been wearing all that much makeup because... I've been at the lake most of the month, just just not wearing that much makeup, but I do have a couple of beauty products to share with you and then a lot of rando favorites, like always. So let's go ahead and just get started. So the first product I want to talk about is one that I discovered recently from my FIF series that I've started um, last month and I continued this month. So if you haven't checked those videos out, I will link them down below, but you really should. They were all about BB creams and CC creams this month. Last month they were mascaras. Next month is going to be liquid eyeliners, I believe. And it'll be kind of cool because I'll be able to show you how I do my winged eyeliner at the same time. So be sure to check that out. But this month's winner for my BB creams was the Garnier um, BB cream. This is the medium to deep, the combination to oily skin, and I loved this stuff. Um, I don't know if it broke me out. I was breaking out a lot. So as of right now, I don't think it's the culprit that's been breaking me out. I will definitely, definitely, definitely tell you guys if it is. Once I get home, get back into my normal routine and I'm still kind of breaking out, I'll let you know. But I think my acne has subsided and I've still been using this. So I don't think this is the problem. But I've loved this stuff, especially with this brush. So again, I have a full review on this if you want to check that out. So I'm not going to go too much in depth. But this brush and the Beauty Blender is one of my favorite ways to apply this BB cream. My fingers, I don't love it as much. This amazing combination. So that's my first beauty favorite, two for one. This is the Sigma F80, if I didn't mention that, sorry. Just a flat top synthetic kabuki brush. Amazing for blending, flawless, and making it just amazing. So love that. My second beauty favorite is the MAC blush in the color Well Dressed. And this color I've had forever, like forever, forever. It's just a really nice pink. Now, this is not super opaque whatsoever, so I don't think it would work really well on darker skin tones. I could swatch it, you won't even see it. Like, it's a satin blush, but it's like a blue-toned pink, like a purpley pink kind of color. It's really, really pretty. It's super, super subtle, but what I like doing is this, is putting it all over my cheeks and then popping Benefits Hirvana right on the apples of my cheeks. I have a Getting Ready With Me Boho Summer Style and I will link that down below where I use this and the Hervana. But this is just a really nice blush. I used to use this all the time and I haven't reached for it a lot. But I brought it with me and I forgot that I brought it with me. So I've been using this a lot. It's the MAC Well Dressed Blush. It's amazing. It's not super pigmented though. Like a lot of MAC blushes are. This one's really not. It's really super sheer. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. You'll have to use a lot and build it up. So that is my blush favorite this month. I have a lippy product this month, and I hate lip products, but this one is not really a lip product. It is, but it isn't. It's the Maybelline Baby Lips in Pink Punch. Um, yeah, I use this again in one of my recent Getting Ready With Me videos. It smells amazing. It's just like a bright poppy pink. I'm sure you've all seen it. Um, I feel like it shows up a lot brighter on my lips than it does on my skin. Uh, it just really shows up on me and looks really pretty and nice. It's not super lasting. It's just really hydrating and just really nice. So I like this one. This is the only one that I like out of it. I hated the Peach Kiss one. Ugh, nasty. And I didn't even like the original Peppermint one. I didn't think it was moisturizing enough. But this one is perfect. So love All this right, one. Alright, and then to finish off my beauty favorites, I have some nail polish favorites. I have two nail, three nail polish favorites. The first one is Essie's Ballet Slippers. And I've never actually used this before, but... My mom, I told my mom that like white nails are really in, but I kind of have a hard time using them because I just think they show a lot of mistakes and they're just, they're clean and crisp, but not my style very much. They kind of look like white out. But this is like a baby doll pink, but it's like so, she, like so light, it's like white. It looks white on your nails with just a touch of pink. It is pretty opaque. You need two to three coats of this um, to make it work, but I really love it. So I was painting my nails this and my toes this. It looks great on tan skin. It's amazing. So it's just one of those, you know, standard um, coats. So I picked up Julie G's nail polish like this, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's not anywhere near this, and I'm just going to have to repurchase this. So um, anyways, yep, I have been loving that nail polish this month. And then for a nail polish, ugh, for a nail polish combination, again, I've been loving my Sally Hansen's Breezy Blue. This is like my all-time favorite summer nail polish. With this one, it's China Glaze's Lux and Lush. It's one of those kind of flaky glitters that are like, you know what I'm talking about? Like that. 
So these look so pretty because this has a blue iridescent to it. So I wear this on my ring finger. With this, it just looks like icy blue beautifulness. So loving Essie's Lux and Lush. And I believe this was from the Hunger Games China Glaze collection. And then this is just breezy blue. So beautiful colors. This is beautiful on its own. but And it looks a little bit lighter. I feel like it's bright on the screen, but it's lighter on your nails. And this is really cool. I love that flaky kind of glitter. So those are all my beauty favorites. Let's go ahead and get into some random -y skincare favorites. So the first one, I've been, again, breaking out really bad, so I've been trying to get my skin back in order. And I have a full-time summer skincare routine, which is I will link down below. This was not used in it, but I just picked this up like a week ago and or two weeks ago and this is just the oil free acne wash I've just been using it really with the Clarisonic to kind of clear out my pores um, it is kind of drying out my skin a little bit but not super bad and it's been helping me clean up my skin so just a basic oil acne wash from Neutrogena salicylic acid and it's been working so I've really really been liking it with my Clarisonic it foams up really nice so Amazing. I have two lotions here. I have an eye cream. This is the Olay Age Defying Revitalizing Eye Gel. And again, this was not in my summer skincare routine. I'm going to need to do a new one again. Um, but I recently started using this and it's a gel and I used to use this a long time ago and then um, I picked this up. The only issue is if you are using an acne treatment, do not use this because it used to make my eyes really, really um, like sore and oh, like sensitive. But now that I'm not using like super amounts of acne medicine, this is perfect. So I really like it. It's fresh. It's pretty thick, even though it's a gel, like it really like, soaks in and just hydrates the skin. So love this and it's age defying. So it's really nice. And it helps with puffiness too. So, and then the second gel cream, this is in my summer skincare routine, I swear. I'm still using those products. This is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for dry skin. But I noticed this is really great with dry skin, but it's also like soaks in so fast that I can use this in the daytime. It's so fresh. The littlest bit goes the longest way. I literally just stick my finger in and just rub it all over my face. It's pink, so it's pretty. It's jelly. It's I love this stuff. So I'm really happy that I picked this up. It's perfect for the summer. Okay, so moving on to some body care products. The first thing I wanted to talk about was a lotion. Um, this is the Bodycology. I believe this is Walmart's um, lotion. It looks a lot like Bath and Body Works, right? It's the flirty um, scent, and it doesn't say what it smells like, but it smells like, um, if you're familiar with Pink Chiffon, that's exactly what it smells like from Bath and Body Works. They're very similar. Pink Chiffon was, is like one of my favorite scents of all time, and yeah, that's what it smells like. It smells so good, so... Um, I really like these. They're super hydrating, and yeah, this is the XOXO Body Ecology. Super cute packaging, and um, yeah, they're available at Walmart. I don't know how much because I didn't purchase it. My mom did. So I've been using this a lot as like hand cream because my hands have been really, really dry lately, and I don't know why. So I've been using this like a crazy lady. And then my last body care product is kind of unusual. I don't know if any of you guys do this, but I do. So this is the Suave Ocean Breeze Conditioner. Um, and my mom thought it was body wash when she bought it. She bought it on accident and it was just sitting in the shower. So this is just the Suave Conditioner. This is so, so cheap and what I like using it for is not conditioning, but for shaving. I like using body wash for shaving, but conditioner is even better. It's so, so cheap. It's so thick and hydrating and you really don't even need like a lotion after you get out of the shower. It's really awesome and you get so much for this and this will literally last you forever. Like I've used this much and I've shaved, you know, multiple times with this stuff. So it's smooth and yeah, I don't know if it hurts your razors by any means, but I think that you can hurt your razors using any sort of creamy type of product so just remember to clean it out when you're done but I wouldn't imagine that it would hurt it so I love this stuff and that's a really awesome trick if you guys have not um, ever used conditioner you should try let's that. move on to some other random favorites I have a hair care favorite and if you guys saw my review on this um, I will link that down below if you haven't already but it is the Babyliss um, Nano Titanium it's the mirror curl and this is my mom's so I'm really sad that I'm gonna have to part with it It looks like a hammer or something. I'm really sad I'm gonna have to part with it because obviously it's not coming home with me um, But it's a really awesome product. So if you've not checked this out link down below It is super expensive. Hopefully drugstore makes a brand that's similar to this or um, You know they load the price, but it's amazing and I've been liking using this I think I've used it about four or five times this month, which is kind of a lot for me thinking how it's summer and I don't really do that much with my hair, so it's kind of quite a bit for how much I've used this. And I like it a lot. So now I'm going to move on to some fashion accessories. And I got so many questions from my boho summer getting ready with me, which is linked down below, um, if where I got this shirt. I got this shirt from Target, and I know you guys saw this. It's just a lacy 
top and it's got like a black zipper with gold detailing and I never really wore it before because it's kind of cropped um, but it works perfectly with cropped shorts obviously I got a lot of questions did I get this recently no I didn't I got it in February um, I actually ordered it because I was gonna wear it for a Gasparilla but I ended up not wearing it for Gasparilla so um, I just started wearing it recently and I love it with like a bandeau like a black bandeau or a cream bandeau it's so so cute so um, I did not get this recently but I did not get it in the store I got it online so if I can find it I will link it down below I did see that a girl commented on mine a subscriber commented and said she did see it it is by the brand Moss no exhilaration I think because I cut off the tag but I don't know um, but I will link it down below if I can find it I really hope I can for you guys because it's so cheap and affordable and it looks so cute on and you can wear it off the shoulders if you zip it up if you don't like it off the shoulders you can un you can zip it all the way up instead of unzipping it and it'll go like right around up top so it's really really cute and um, yeah so and she did say she could find it so if I do find it I will link it down below for you guys and I have some other accessories I have this little ribbon thing here um, if you guys saw my um, vlog if you guys aren't subscribed to my vlog channel go subscribe to it it's keeping up with Kel it'll be it's always linked down below in my videos um, but I wore this around my head for 4th of July like a little hair ribbon and I've been loving wearing this. This is just a blue with white polka dot type of um, design and I got this, it came with a shirt of mine from Abercrombie but I basically, it's like a long ribbon and I tie it around my head twice as like a little headband and it's like cutesy with a little thing. I'm pretty sure I've worn it in another video, um, in a, like an older video but I just love these cute little like thingies. I know like a bunch of brands make them but it's easy to just take a ribbon and make it yourself so love wearing this with like my hair up in a messy bun or it down curly cute adorable so that's that um, for accessory I have been loving my DKNY black watch and it's kind of surprising because I typically don't wear that much black in the summer but I've been really liking this a lot this month mostly because I couldn't find my silver watch I did find it it's in my purse but I couldn't find my Michael Kors one so I've been reaching for this it's just a black ceramic DKNY watch I got this for my 21st birthday and I love it so it's really just pretty it fits awesomely and yeah I was always on the hunt for like a really cute black watch and I thought this one was adorable and because my white phosphor watch I need to get the battery replaced on it um, I love that one but it's broken right now so then I have one last favorite and I've been trying to run a little bit this month yeah I've been pretty decent about it not the best but it's pretty hot here right now which is it's only gonna be worse when I go to Florida but anyways um, I got this armband from Belkin and I got this when my dad had to get a new phone because his broke and they gave him $70 worth of free accessories because his um he's on like a corporate account or whatever so anyways um his company account so yeah i got a bunch of free products i got a phone charger because i left mine in massachusetts and i was not getting that back i got a new screen protector and because mine was like bubbling so i got a new screen protector and i got this baby and i think that's all that i got yeah um but this is awesome it hooks your phone in the iphone 5 and then it has a little spot for your thing and you like put it on your arm i've been using it while i mow the lawn or i um you know go running and it's got a little place for your key which will be perfect when I'm in Florida so I can just slip my little key in there and yeah it's awesome Bella loves to run and yeah this thing's really cool it is kind of big for my little tiny small arms and I feel like even for like big people arms it's kind of small too so like I feel like guys could have arms that big so I feel like this is kind of unpractical and even the smallest littlest amount like when I go like all the way like my arm is still too small for that maybe I need to lift some weights but anyways I'm very rambly in this video. That is my July favorites. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what your guys' July favorites are down below. I'm happy to be home because I'm home right now. I had an awesome month of July. I hope you all did. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you.